Heritage Company in Sherwood has closed its doors, leaving people confused and angry. Most of them say they found out about it through Facebook or from a coworker. This company has been operating for more than 60 years, but just this weekend, as employees were getting ready to go to work, they found out they're unemployed. Alex Wainwright has been following this story and has more. Technically, I haven't even been fired. What, what's going on? Angry, confused, and frustrated. Why are you guys shutting the door on us, you know, and leaving us with nothing? Those are the emotions for more than 50 people who walked into work Saturday only to be sent home without a job. This time of year, how could you do somebody like that? Jonathan Woods has been working with the company on and off since 2006. He's hoping that he can at least be compensated. And he isn't the only one. Crystal Todd, she heard about it through a coworker who saw a post on Facebook. It wasn't the right way, you know, like it could have been done better. Todd said she's never talked with management directly. So just shut it down with no notice, no email, no phone call, text, nothing. It just made me question you. She woke up to go to work but was told not to come in from a friend. It was just crazy because we thought that we have, you know, at least a month notice to get another job. For her, it's hard because she's a single mother of three kids who now has to wait to finish Christmas shopping. Company CEO Sandra Fennec released a statement saying they were held hostage for ransom two months ago, and now they are temporarily closing their doors. Meanwhile, a lot of others are taking to Facebook to express their feelings as they wait to see what's next. There's a lot of people that's hurt behind this. And we thought we was guaranteed a job. All the, um, all the employees were told to call a 1-800 number next month. By then, they will know if they can work there again.